and Hollywood directing and producing demigod James Cameron has made use of his signature 3D technology wow, in the film Sanctum, starring Australian actors Richard Roxburgh and Reese Wakefield. The circle Sean Lynch caught up with the pair recently and had a chat with them about the film. Hollywood director and producer James Cameron has brought all the 3D technology he developed for Avatar to his latest film, Sanctum, starring Australian actors Richard Roxburgh and Reese Wakefield. The Circle's Sean Lynch met up with the pair recently to chat about the new film. Imagine being trapped thousands of metres underground in a cave that you can't get out of. Well, that's the story of Sanctum 3D, and luckily for us, we're here with the stars of the film, Reese Wakefield and Richard Roxburgh. Guys, well... What do you... Richard, we said you were going to do the cave thing as well. Yeah, no, mate, you're on your own now. It is the last unexplored territory in the world. A spirit to his sala, the mother of all caves. Trust me, you're going to love this. What could possibly go wrong diving in caves? It's a big movie, lots of 3D. Did it ever freak you out wearing such tight pants? Uh, with the 3D. It was something you had to take into consideration. You really <laughs> did have to try and get as fit as you possibly could knowing that <laughs> there, was, there was nowhere to hide. There no was socks, no dimension no in socks which needed. you could hide. <laughs> <laughs> James Cameron out of the back yard, more socks! Your old man is the most respected explorer in the world. Because he's got nothing else. He's a good kid, Frank. You need to go easy on him. Exactly what I don't need to do. This cable kill you in a heartbeat. One mistake in Earth's inner sanctum. My God, would you look at that? And no one will ever know you are even here. Listen. What the hell was that? Well, we had to learn so many kind of weird things to do this film. We had to sort of learn all of this technical diving stuff, which you're only supposed to really be able to do after a couple of years of diving. There's some really scary things that we had to do during the making of the film. Did you ever freak out on the set at all? Um, there were a few. Yeah, there were a few moments where you thought, where you were thinking this could go either way. Claustrophobia, you know, there, was, there were all of your fears. There was kind of, I've got to climb up those 15 metres and under that waterfall. Uh, you were freezing cold at all times. It was as if every single element was specifically geared to make your life as miserable as possible. <laughs> but it's good, I think it translates in the film. It does. Yeah. I mean, they're supposed to be having a bad time. Yeah, right? yeah. And, and we did. I don't want to die down here. I gotta get out of here, all right? We follow the river all the way to the ocean. This way. You sure? No. Nope. Well, I'll see you on the other side. You were actually in America when you got the call to do the movie. Is that weird being in, a, in America, coming back to Australia to get a job? Is that, is that a strange thing? It was quite amazing. I just put down the test with a friend in his like little studio apartment in LA, and we just had fun with it, sent the tape off back to Australia, and then Jim saw it and then I was flown back to Australia to meet the director and Richard and yeah, really kind of inverted everything. Now for the audience, it's, it's a really claustrophobic experience and you find yourself holding your breath uh, while watching it. How long could you guys actually hold your breath uh, in real life? I was doing a lot of breath hold training, uh, especially at one portion of the film, there's so much underwater just with no breathing apparatus. So yeah, I was sitting at the bottom of the pool with the stunt guys just Holding, holding breath. my breath. And it Pretty was actually much. really quite meditative and calming. Well, I was just thinking, you know, I've been practicing a bit. Maybe we could have a bit of a hold your breath challenge. A breath hold. <laughs> I don't want to brag, I'm pretty good. You ready? Have we got someone to time it? No, over there? Okay, we got someone to time it. Uh, here we go. You ready? Richard, I'm, ready. I'm ready. I'm ready. Here we go. Very much. One, two, three. <gasps> I think he's cheating. Give me a hand. We will find a way out. We're running out of time. You kill all of us. Never give up. Oh, thanks, Shawnee. 
think, I think. <laughs> Oh, I am such a sucker for that kind of stuff. Once really? the voice happens and the music, I just go, oh man, I actually felt goosebumps. Can you do an impersonation of that movie voice? In a world that doesn't have enough 3D movies, <laughs> comes another film that doesn't actually justify being 3D. <laughs>